see if you can guess who our new food scrap customer is based on what they give us in their bins. So we have peppers, some limes in there too. <laughs> entire bin of avocados and an entire bin of lettuce and more peppers. Let me know who you think it is. Um, man, does it smell great for sure. This, this stuff is fresh. Just makes me want to go there and get the breedable. Hello and welcome back to our sustainable journey. I am Steve. Let's check on those worms uh, from last week. See how they're doing. So before we get into that, I want to show you all the worm bins lined up. So those two are too, too full. These two are partially full. These are the three from when we mucked out um, the barn last week. So that's what's left. I have an empty. I don't know where that one came from. I don't know. Um, and then I've got an empty on the end here, so we need to get these filled up. So we're going to take this stuff sometime this weekend, load it in there. Maybe I'll um, take some of the worms from these trays and fill up those. So, this one may not be doing too good because... The lid blew off in the storm we had yesterday. So, everything got dried out. Uh, I'm gonna be able to find the worms. Yeah, this is all dried. I'm not seeing any worms. We had tornadoes out here yesterday, last night. So that's exciting. All right, there we go. So. You can see the worms have probably migrated down. Yeah, there they are. They're doing alright. I'm gonna add more worms, I think. Because this is starting to dry out. Because they're not getting to it fast enough. Where'd you guys go? There you are. Yep. They're getting there. They're getting mixed in. Cool. I'm probably going to move these back into the barn because I should probably show you what we've been doing. So you remember last week we had all the cow stuff in here. Now we got nothing. We got buckets because it's Friday so we got plenty of buckets. We got extra trays. We use those to carry the eggs around and veggies and things like that on the farm feed of course we have loose random chickens we get nervous when they get on camera um, and then they're bedding which they like to tear open because chickens are jerks um, but it's vastly different than the way it was set up last week with the uh, all the cow bedding and everything we cleaned it all up it's like a brand new barn so I'm gonna probably move the move the worms inside. Um, Cause I only have so many shelves to put them on. Oh. Oh, see worms in there. Yeah. They're mixing them. I need to pull that out of there. So. I'm not going to look at all these bins. It's going to take me all day. Ah, we'll look at them. Oh, I can't get to that one. Lock. There they all are. Oh, they're all in one, one little bundle. There we go. 
There you guys are. That's all right. I need to wet this down a little bit. This is getting dry out here. It's interesting. So different ways to keep it wet. Uh, usually the lid's enough. Um, sometimes you can put newspaper down. Some people use like a jewel bag. Um, keep that moisture in. All good strategies. Watering it down helps. You just gotta be careful not to over water because you can drown your worms. They're all in these chunks. You know, they found a spot they like. I'm just gonna keep munching. So we're gonna spread them out. So yeah. So I am going to spend this weekend making sure those are all filled up. Putting these into the barn. Following chickens around and finding their eggs. Because now that it's better weather, it's probably 50 today. Um, they're all out and perusing. You can see that white one out there. He's outside the fence. So is this guy. Yeah, he gets nervous. What are you doing, buddy? Um, so yeah, so that's chicken poop that we could probably add to one of these bins. Um, yeah, the whole idea was just to get these breaking down this waste, getting them breeding so we could start using them for those bins. And now I'm going to give them all a scoop. I'll bury it. Let's see if I can. Oh, so many worms. Let's see if I can dig into a corner. I'm literally just scooping and dumping. That's what I'm going to be doing for probably the rest of my life, really, let's be honest. So let me. Same thing. And as I tell you guys, worms on lids are not a problem. They're just exploring. So don't worry about them. Cruising around. So we're going to out, cover it up a little bit. Cover this one up a little bit. Not that it really matters, but Okay, that's two. Like 20 more to go. And then, let's see this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bins there, and two bins over there. So that's where the rest of this is gonna go. So I'm gonna get to work on that. Um, bottom line is, I'm back, I'm over my cold, and I'm busier than ever. Um, and it's about to be sifting season because the weather is about to turn. So I'm gonna get these guys fed with this fresh stuff. We'll take the rest of it, put it into the big bins, um, and then the rest of it, whatever's left after that is gonna go out into the compost pile um, to break down that way. And then we'll feed it to the worms in a week or two or once I get more bins, more room for it, more room for, more room for worms. So, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you all next time. Take care.